Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We've reached the letter H and this is all about HTML. Let's jump in. So looking at the HTML, it doesn't have to be scary. So we're going to look at a few simple things that you could do to change how your marketing emails or your forms or your marketing pages look. So let's go ahead and look at a marketing form. If I go ahead and click new and we can pick one of our forms here. So let's go with this one and we'll choose this as our um, starting point. So we can see there that we've got a specific font that's being used. The button is a specific color. And yes, we could go in and we could select everything and then we can go ahead and change it to a font from the drop down list. But sometimes we can do things within the HTML that make it a lot simpler and can kind of change everything all at one time. So let's say, for example, we use a font called train one. So it's quite a fun font right here. Let's go ahead and use that. Now, if I click on the HTML, I can go in and I can see immediately that we've got some meta tags. So these are basically things that will determine what the layout looks like. You might already see things in there that say specific colors that should be used, that kind of thing. But what we've also then got is a section that is basically the style section that says, OK, which pieces or which elements of this form, how should they be styled? What color should they use? What font should they use? We can see that the font family, which is basically saying what font should we use throughout this form, is Segoy UI. Now, I could go ahead and I could change this to train one and look at it and expect it to change, but it, it hasn't. And that's because the form doesn't actually know what train one should be. But one of the really cool things with Google Fonts is that we can actually just go ahead and get some code that we can use and paste into the HTML of that form so that then it will look like this. The benefit of also doing this is not only will it show up, but also it doesn't then matter about what font somebody has on their their local machine, their computer or their laptop, because it's going to be pulling from Google Fonts. So all I need to do, let's just remove this for now. So let's say that I have gone to Google Fonts and I've searched for the font that we use as an organization. I can find it and then click on it. Then what I can do is I can say select this style. Um, and what that will do is it will give me the code that I need that I can then copy and I can come back into my mar marketing form and underneath this meta row right here, I can just go ahead and I can paste it. And what that's doing is it's saying, okay, go out to Google fonts and pull in the train one font. So I can click on designer again. And now we can see that it's changed the font. So it's showing me the font that I want to see. Another thing that we can do is we've got the submit button here. But the submit button doesn't actually let me change anything in terms of the styling. So that's another slightly annoying thing is that the button itself is going to be using um, the, the code to determine what that looks like. And we can see here that we've got this button, the submit button, and we can see that that's the code that's being used. So it's got the same background color, same border and so on. One of the easiest things that you can do is just go ahead and Google CSS buttons, something like that. And then you can look through and you can find um, different websites that will give you examples of CSS that you could use. So I might say, OK, well, maybe I want it to change when I hover my mouse over. And what I could do is I can say, OK, well, this is what I want to use. And when I come in here, it says, OK, well, here's what the code should be, the CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy that, go back into the marketing form. And instead of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and paste that. Let's look at it and we can see that it's changed the color. So I could go ahead and I could make other changes. I could make the um, the border around it. I could make the radius, the rounded um, button. So a lot of times it's kind of Googling and seeing what that CSS is in terms of making those changes and then pasting something into the HTML, checking to see if it works and then looking back on the designer tab. 
So don't be scared of going into the HTML. Like I said, you can also find this in the marketing emails and then also on your marketing pages. Be careful about deleting too much. You can always use these undo buttons and revert back, so it's it's fine. Um, you also might want to copy the entire HTML that you started with and just paste it and save it somewhere just in case. But it's a really simple way to come in and just make slight changes. So if you learn a little bit of HTML, um, really it's the styling of things that's probably going to be the easiest changes for you to make. But now we can start to see that we can really change how our form looks, how our email looks, just by tweaking the HTML a little bit. All right, one last thing to um, be aware of, if I go into the um, marketing emails area and I'm on a marketing email, depending on the version that you are on, if we just go into this one here, and let's just put this in edit mode. Yes, that's fine. And it, up here, if you're on the latest version, to get to your HTML, you're gonna be clicking on this little button up here and when you first come to it, if the HTML is a little bit messy, you can click on format document and it will reformat how that HTML looks. So it's maybe a little bit easier to work with. So hope this helps. H is for HTML. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.